Hello everyone, I'm back with a video on the RK8, this time the Alt-8 menu for the tempo. Um, last week I had this little setup with the MB33 and the TR8 and I thought well maybe I can also use this to show you some other stuff you can do in terms of syncing because that's what the tempo menu is for. Uh, for example, you want to swap out the TR8 with a 606, which is a uh, DIN sync machine. And although a DIN sync plug looks like a MIDI plug, it's really different. Well, I have a cable here which we sell. It's for converting uh, DIN sync and uh, two jacks. So you can use a start stop signal and a pulse signal and convert it to DIN sync. Um, you can do that on the RK6 as well and the RK8 also does it on a little uh, special setting which I will show you later on. Uh, first I'll go into, into the menu. Uh, first thing you'll see is the internal clock BPM which is now on the 28 BPM. Like this. I can tap uh, just tap another tempo here like 100 and now it will be slower. And I can also use the Alt tap tempo, so you keep Alt pressed and you tap eight multiple times like this. Click, 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 click. So, and then after four clicks, it will try to um, calculate what kind of tempo it was you tapped. So this was obviously 134.3 BPM. Um, you see that you can also do divisions of a BPM, like if you press 100.5, then it will the last digit will be the half beat tempo but um, I'll set it back to 128 like this. Um, you have multiple parts in the RK8 so I have 14 this one and this one and well maybe you would like to have one part in a different tempo that's also possible we go to alt 8 back again to the tempo and the official way to change uh, the part tempo is to go to Alt 1, navigate to part tempo and enable it with 1 or disable it with 2. Uh, if you enable it and go back to the tempo menu, you will see a P appearing in front of the tempo, uh, which uh, indicates it's a part tempo. Now, well, if I press here now 100 BPM, and I'll swap these parts around, like I start with 14. This one's slower. Um, you can also have a quick access to this part tempo thing. Uh, just by pressing zero, you can toggle between the global tempo and the part tempo. So I'll set it back to global and uh, this was what you can do in this part of the tempo menu. I'll go one to the right and that's where I'll see the metronome settings. Uh, metronome is this little speaker here which will click on different ways. You can make it click on record and play, so always or record only or play only. You can most of the settings you can just reset to default by pressing zero. Uh, I'll keep this one to rack only, which means if I press rack and record something, then I will hear the metronome and not where well I'm just playing a pattern. The output of the metronome is normally the speaker, but if you want to record with headphones, for example, and not annoy anyone else in the house with the little beeper here, you can go to Alt 9, the system menu, and go to the far right and go to the click out method. Uh, so normally it's set to speaker, you can also set it to MIDI. Uh, if you set it to MIDI, it will send out the metronome to MIDI channel 10 on a drum channel. This is like general MIDI drum uh, channel. And you will hear a conga sound uh, doing the metronome. So I'll set it back to the speaker again. Um, I'll go to the tempo menu back again and go to the next menu, which is the clock source setting. Uh, this normally is set to internal, so the clock from the RK8 is driving everything else. By pressing the digits, you can change the settings again. Like on one, you can accept the clock from MIDI one. Here you accept the clock from MIDI input two. And here the clock's coming from RK006 if you connect it via USB. And what do we have more? Oh yeah, no clock at all. So this is like free recording. This is auto, it just slaves to a clock 
from in one in two or from the rk6 or from the sync input and for sync we have also another option like um, sync divider modes you have different sync rates like din sync is uh, what was it let's see oh yeah 24 ppqn but you have other rates like double that up or very slow one click a bar or anyway you can just tap around and see if your rk8 uh, responds in the right tempo with the rest of your gear and maybe even you want to sync it how only in half tempo that's also possible by changing this setting just double tapping it um what do we have more yeah so there's one extra thing here on nine uh, there is a step clock source which means that actually uh, when one pulse comes in in the sync port it will step one sixteenth uh, step further in your sequence so you could use that for example to yeah have a, a conditional trigger from a modular system or something and you just trigger one sixteenth note on your rk8 sequence anyway back to default zero which is internal and then we have the uh, transmit clock settings normally set to enable so midi clock is coming out as well uh, disable it with one enable it with two those are the options zero is default which is enabled um, then there is a clock transport uh, clock transport is like separate start stop messages in midi to yeah to sync midi devices the clock can run always so devices can already sync up with the tempo they have detected on the clock signal and only when they hear a start or a stop from midi then it will start playing and sometimes it's not that handy to have devices autoplay. I mean, sometimes you have a synthesizer and you want to have the arpeggiator sync, but you don't want to auto start it when the RK8 starts. And that's why we have made these start stop uh, settings. Normally, default is re receive, start stop, and transmit them as well. But you can also just only receive transport messages or only send out transport messages or just do nothing with them at all. So this is the default and now we go on to the sync out settings. Now we're at the sync out menu. Uh, this is for the sync output of the RK008. By default it's set to Volca speed and Volca also has the property that it will only send out clicks when you're actually playing and it will stop sending out clicks when the RK8 is stopped. This is handy for Volcas and for pocket operators. Um, and you can just double tap on it for half speed or double speed or one click a bar, uh, one a quarter note. And um, we also have 24 PPQN, 48 PPQN. This is very high clock speeds, which you could use on a modular system. But still, these are only pulses. And um, the second port will be used if we check DIN sync, which is this one here, DIN 24. This is a setting which I can use now for the uh, exchanging the TR8 for the 606. I'll let me just listen one more time to the 808 here. Okay. Well, bye bye TR8. It was fun, but now you have to move for the 606. And I'll set this to DIN sync. I'll unplug the um, MIDI for the 303 and I'll just move it into the through from the UNO and I'll connect the DIN sync adapter to the 606. It's set to receive DIN sync and um, the pulse is the red one and the start stop is the black one because now MIDI port 2 has been changed to a start stop signal for DIN sync. I'll just unplug it. So, um, uh, again, so uh, the MIDI 2 port is now start stop signal and the sync out is actually the sync for DIN sync. If I now press play, yeah, we've got an analog sound of 
the 606. And I can also change the dancing speed here with like very slow. A bit faster, this is half speed. Double speed. Or just the default. So uh, these are actually the options in the tempo menu. And um, one thing is that to remind you that your second and second port isn't MIDI anymore, you could, for example, go to the Alt 7 because then you'll see some different stuff here. Um, normally you could choose which port you would send out the MIDI to, but now this has changed because you could send out to all ports, but the second port is like the DIN port. If I go to I'll unplug this first, otherwise the 606 will go haywire if I set this to MIDI, like uh, Volker. No. And now if I go to Alt 7, I can see port all, out 1, out 2, the way it was. So this is about it, how you can change uh, MIDI to DINSYNC and uh, yeah, use individual part tempo, stuff like that. So uh, have fun with it. Bye bye. <laughs>